we have a full day today. We're gonna stage this house and then we're packing up two houses. about to start staging we have a full day today we're gonna stage this house and then we're packing up two houses that were previously staged and they have sold thankfully and now we're gonna pack them up so right now we're just bringing all of the furniture in to put it together and make it look like a home when it comes to staging i use similar items like for example you always need a couch you always need a rug a coffee table a side table a plant to make it look more homey we have todd over here macho man carrying the dresser all by himself macho macho man okay just kidding <laughs> another cute addition to staging big fruit really important to make a client or a potential buyer see themselves when they come into the house and adding things like fruits you know just little things in the kitchen that people would regularly have in the kitchen definitely helps a plant in the corner i feel like a plant always makes the space feel more homey even if it's a Fake plant, obviously you have to use fake plants when it comes to staging because nobody's here to water the plant. So one of the biggest issues that I've had uh, staging was the mattresses. We don't ever use real mattresses, we use blow up mattresses. And they have had an issue with deflating, but today's our first day using um, an automatic inflatable mattress. So when it deflates, you just keep it plugged in and it inflates itself. I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how it works. But I'm excited to go see it. Let's go check it out. So this is the mattress. We'll see if it inflates itself. When it deflates in a couple weeks or a couple days. Staging a house for sale is the same thing as decorating your own house. One decorating tip I would give is adding plants. If you can't take care of real ones, Add some fake ones, they still look really good. Mm -hmm. In anything that I do, I'm extremely detail oriented. I kind of am a perfectionist. And it's funny because I remember when I was younger and people would tell me, or I would hear like that word perfectionist, I never really understood until I realized I'm one. <laughs> Everything has to be in a specific place to a specific angle. Obviously it has to be super clean. I don't like to clean, but I hate having a mess. One thing I found to add a little bit more oomph to a table is actually doubling up the placements. So there's this black velvet one I'm gonna put down and then these like silver netted ones. And then I'm gonna do dishes on top and it just gives the table a little bit more elegance. When it comes to staging, I'm constantly buying new accessories to accessorize a home, that's what you need no matter whether you're staging or just putting your house together to make it look cute and homey. And one of the most annoying things is having the tags. So if you don't already know, one of the best ways to take it off is you have to take a piece of, I call it bouncy, but it's paper towel. You get hot water, soak it really good, and then you just put it on top and let it stay for a few minutes. So we waited a couple minutes, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on it and rub. And as you see, it has disappeared. No more tag, yay. And that was another one of our r, &R staging hacks. A little addition I like to add is napkins. And I have a few different ways of putting them together. This is what I call the bow. And you can put it up and down or sideways. I actually like the sideways. I haven't done that. Instead of putting silverware or plates, we're gonna do just the napkin. We're finished staging the downstairs. And now we're gonna stage the master bedroom and this is the master bathroom so a few things i like to add in the bathroom is on the towel rack i hang some towels we add some artwork 
So this one is like a perfume bottle, which I like kind of goes with the bathrooms. Um, this is a new picture. It says, tonight I dream, tomorrow I do. But I feel like that's, you know, kind of the last thing you want to see before bed so that you can stay motivated. Some accessories to the vanity as well. And then in the bedroom, we're working on the bed, I'm using the steamer to unwrinkle the bed skirt. Then we're gonna put the comforter and of course my favorite pillows. We always add a lot of pillows. Instead of using headboards, um, I use artwork behind the bed and it kind of replaces the need for a headboard and makes staging a lot faster and easier. I'm getting artwork I made the room just brighter, more fun, and it saved him money on the headboard. So that is a low budget bedroom idea. And that's a, another one of our R&R &R hacks. I like my little <laughs> shout out to my cousins over at Stitch Kings for making me these very beautiful top get up and, and show the back very awesome t-shirts for r and r i don't know why i'm on my knees <laughs> staging and interior design stitch kings brought to you by stitch kings thank you when i'm staging a bathroom i use things that you normally see in a bathroom so i have bath salt some cotton swab holders some candles a little seahorse because I like to add these cute little accessories. I just hit myself on the corner of a glass table, but these are the things that happen when you're staging. The whole point of staging is to help a property sell faster by helping the potential buyer envision themselves in the home and envision how furniture would look and where it would be. When it's empty, it's a little bit hard to envision, but when you have you know, a couch, a coffee table, some side chairs, plants, dining table, chairs, accessories, and things like that, it makes it easier to envision and potentially be able to sell the property faster. We are done here. Um, it took a couple hours and now we're going to be moving on to the next place where we'll be packing two houses. So we're here just packing up um, one of the units that we staged and that sold. Basically staging is like moving in and then you move out. One of the problems in staging is things do tend to break. But it's if you wrap things the right way, then they're less likely to break. So once we finish wrapping up this house, we have one other one, and then we're gonna take everything back to the warehouse and unload the truck. How do I stay organized? I try my best to keep the same type of items in a box. So plants go with plants, kitchen stuff goes with kitchen stuff, and I try to color coordinate accessories. Another r and &R staging hack, in order not to um, create big holes in, uh, in the properties that we stage, remember these properties are for sale, we use some text. We also don't use extremely heavy artwork. If we do, then obviously we have to use nails. But for things like this, if this is one of my favorite bathroom artworks, we just use some text. The thumb text in one place. Oh, there's also these wood tacks, they're really good too. We're going to pack the other house. These actually happen to be right next to each other across the street because it's the same client. So we're just finishing up here, um, packing the second house. We're almost done. I just want to thank everybody for watching and until next time. Most important thing, getting paid. What did I do? Sounds cute.
cute. I, I don't even realize I'm saying it. It's just like my thing. That's cute. That's cute. I need a shirt that says that's cute. These cute little accessories. Because we're cute. No, thank you.